गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द पार्ट ऑफ स्ट्रक्चरल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन एनिमल दैट इज द कॉक्रोच ओके इन योर लैंग्वेज इट इज द बुदिंग का दैट यू इट इज नॉन बाई यू सो आई विल से अबाउट द फर्स्ट रिलेटेड विद द कॉक्रोच वॉट इज द फाइलम ऑफ द कॉक्रोच फाइलम ऑफ द कॉक्रोच दैट इज द आथ्रोपोडा आथ्रोपोडा आथ्रोस मीन्स ज्वाइंटेड आथ्रोस मीन्स ज्वाइंटेड ज्वाइंटेड पोडा मीन्स लिम it is having the jointed limbs it is having the jointed limbs that is why it is known as the arthropoda so why the name of the phylum is arthropoda because it is having the jointed legs jointed legs poda means limbs that is the legs it is having the jointed legs so that is why this phylum is known as the arthropoda known by us known by us it is nocturnal nocturnal means getting activated during the night time it is omnivorous omnivorous means combination of herbivorous plus carnivorous that is the omnivorous and it is not good because it is a vector of several diseases i have written what is cockroach that is the nocturnal omnivorous so that is the cockroach that you have to remember when we are discussing about the cockroach i will say you one very important point this one is the picture explanation needed i will explain the points which are not given in theory but which are given in the diagram we have to read the diagram you will get the ready made diagram in the exam so no need to draw only say what the diagram is saying so there is one labeling known by us in the frog the thorax is consist of three parts prothorax mesothorax metathorax so if you will see this picture carefully they mentioned about the metathorax this is the metathorax they mentioned about the second segment of thorax that is the mesothorax but they have not mentioned about the prothorax they have not mentioned about the prothorax so what is the reason why they have not mentioned maintained about the prothorax they mentioned one labeling in the part of prothorax that is known as the pronotum are you getting sometimes questions are coming and we are searching where it is written in theory not written in theory it is written in diagram so i will explain about the pronotum why they have given the heading pronotum so what is the pronotum you have to remember it is the tergum of prothorax it is the tergum of prothorax in in cockroach in cockroach it is the tergum of prothorax that is known as the pronotum tergum of prothorax that is known as the pronotum tergum tergum what is tergum that is the dorsal sclerite dorsal sclerite is known as the tergum each segment in frog is covered by four chitinous plates what are sclerites sclerites are the chitinous plates sclerites are the chitinous plates how many chitinous plates surrounding one segment surrounding one segment how many chitinous plates are present four so name of the chitinous plates which is present on the prothorax dorsal side that is known as the pronotum and again why they mentioned about the pronotum it is the largest it is the largest sclerite it is the largest sclerite in the body of cockroach that is by in ncert they mentioned one labeling that is known as the pronotum so question coming now why why they mentioned the pronotum why they have not written the prothorax because prothorax is not important one more labeling is important that is known as the pronotum they are having two pairs of wings how many pairs of wings are there two pairs of wings are there the name of the two pairs of wings one is known as the mesothoracic wing and one is known as the metathoracic wing so this is tegmina this is known as the four wing four wing four wing it is also known as the mesothoracic wing four wing is also known as the mesothoracic wing this is the hind wing 
एंड हाइंड विंग इज ऑल्सो नोन एज द मैटा थोरेसिक विंग इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज द मैटा थोरेसिक विंग फोर विंग्स एंड हाइंड विंग्स आर दे फोर विंग्स फोर विंग्स आर द मीजो थोरेसिक विंग एंड हाइंड विंग दे आर द मैटा थोरेसिक विंग सो वॉट इज द डिफरेंस दैट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर वॉट इज द डिफरेंस दैट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर ओके वॉट इज द डिफरेंस दैट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दे आर हैविंग द फोर विंग्स एंड दे आर हैविंग द हाइंड विंग सो फोर विंग्स आर नॉट हेल्पफुल इन फ्लाइंग दे आर नॉट हेल्पफुल इन फ्लाइंग दे आर नॉट हेल्पफुल इन फ्लाइंग वेयर एज द हाइंड विंग दे आर हेल्पफुल इन फ्लाइंग सो दिस इज द वन पॉइंट दैट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दे आर हैविंग द फोर विंग एंड दे आर हैविंग द हाइंड विंग फोर विंग रिलेटेड विद द प्रोथोरेक्स सो सी इफ आई विल राइट वन कॉमन थिंग हाउ मेनी सेगमेंट्स इन द थोरेक्स थ्री प्रोथोरेक्स मीजो थोरेक्स मेटा थोरेक्स सेमी अबाउट लेग्स अ पेयर ऑफ प्रोथोरेसिक लेग अ पेयर ऑफ मीजो थोरेसिक लेग अ पेयर ऑफ मेटा थोरेसिक लेग्स आर दिया बिंग्स देर इज नो बिंग इन द प्रोथोरेक्स अ पेयर ऑफ बिंग्स इन द मीजो थोरेक्स अ पेयर ऑफ बिंग्स इन द मेटा थोरेक्स आर यू रिमेंबरिंग स्पायरिकल्स दे आर हैविंग द स्पायरिकल्स स्पायरिकल्स आर जस्ट लाइक सिमिलर एज ह्यूमन नॉस्टिल्स दे आर प्रेजेंट इन कॉक्रोच ओके स्पायरिकल्स हाउ मेनी पेयर्स ऑफ स्पायरिकल्स आर दे आर टेन पेयर्स ऑफ स्पायरिकल्स आर दे आर हाउ मेनी पेयर्स ऑफ स्पायरिकल्स आर दे आर टेन पेयर्स ऑफ स्पायरिकल्स आर दे आर टेन पेयर्स ऑफ स्पायरिकल्स आर दे आर टू पेयर्स ऑफ स्पायरिकल्स इन द थोरेक्स and eight pairs of sparicles are present in the abdomen and here you have to remember one wonderful point the first pair of sparicle is not present in the prothorax it is present in the mesothorax so they can ask one question here i am focusing on question what are the structures present in prothorax all three prothorax is having a pair of legs they are having a pair of wings they are having a pair of they are not having a pair of sparicle mesothorax metathorax having all the three structure so this is the one very important question that you have to remember what are the structures present what are the structures absent here now coming on one very important point if you will see this is one anal style anal style one picture will come anal style how can we differentiate the male male cockroach from the female cockroach it is very important so we are able to differentiate the male cockroach from the female cockroach with the help of a structure that is known as the anal style you you can remember like this this is the one very common question which is coming in the neat exam which of the following structure is present only in male cockroach absent in female this question also came in neat 2024 if you will search na you will get this question also came in neat 2024 so what is the structure present in male cockroach absent in female answer is the answer is the anal style anal style in classroom i used to say like this how to remember you can remember that uh, anal style anal style means uh, male cockroach is stylus so it is having the anal style so this is the one point that you have to remember now after it i will come on very important point this one is circulatory system in frog here what they are asking what is the passage what is the passage of blood flow a uh, what is the direction of blood flow in frog uh, in cockroach what is the direction of blood flow in cockroach so see here you have to remember very important in frog the open circulatory system is present open circulatory system is present means the body cavity is filled with the blood in this type of question you have to remember if you are starting from one point you have to reach again on that point It's because it is the cyclic circulation na so like i am starting from sinus so from the sinus there is a structure in heart known as the ostia through the ostia it is entering into the heart chamber and from the heart chamber it is coming out through the anterior aorta these are the anterior aorta and from anterior aorta it is going back again into the sinus clear so that why i said in this type of question what is important from where you are starting if you are starting from ostia you will go ostia heart chamber anterior aorta sinus ostia 
this is one very important otherwise you are not able to solve this type of question this is very important i said that uh, and now one more structure is there that is known as the lni muscles so what is about the lni muscles you have to remember lni muscles 12 pairs of lni muscles triangular shaped structure if i will say this is one heart chamber in cockroach this is the another heart chamber so at the junction of two heart chamber are triangular shaped muscle is present that is known as the lni muscles what is the function of lni muscles it helps you in the circulation it helps in the process of circulation circulation it helps in the process of circulation lni muscles are there now one more thing that you have to remember related with the uh, this uh, circulation i said open circulatory system is there okay so see i said now you have you have to start one one place and you have to reach on the same place i am starting from sinus ostia heart chamber anterior aorta sinus correct one what is wrong here ostia to anterior aorta no from ostia it will go to the heart chamber heart chamber to sinus no from heart chamber it will come out to the anterior aorta ostia to sinus no from sinus to ostia so this is one very important question that you have to remember related with the cockroach now when we are saying about the respiratory system you have to remember one diagram related with the respiratory system spiracle opening present on body surface opening and closing of spiracles is controlled by sphincters they are the they are the sphincters they are opening into a structure that structure is known as the trachea this is known as the trachea the branches of trachea known as the tracheoles these are the tracheoles what they are they are the tracheoles and these tracheoles are coming in direct contact with the body cells exchange of gases takes place at the level of tracheoles and body cells by the process of diffusion exchange of gases takes place at the level of tracheoles and body cells by the process of diffusion so this is the one question that you have to remember i said in simple way exchange of gases by the process of diffusion now i am coming on one very important excretory system they are having the malpigeon tubule here i will say one very important point related with the excretory system you have to remember one very important point the body cells in cockroach discharge they are nitrogenous based in hemolymph mainly in the form of so if you will see this is statement given in ncrt they absorb nitrogenous based product and convert them into uric acid so who malpigeon tubule because if here again my explanation needed body cells in cockroach they are excreting the nitrogenous base in the form of potassium urate so potassium urate potassium urate is going into the malpigeon tubule if i will say this is one malpigeon tubule is there it opens into the gut so malpigeon tubule it is coming to the malpigeon tubule in the malpigeon tubule the potassium urate converted in the form of uric acid that is why the cockroach is also known as the urico urico talic and this uric acid is coming to the gut in gut and coming out from the body so if you will see this question that's why examiner is very clever here examiner asked one question the body cells in cockroach discharge their nitrogenous based in hemolymph in the form of they are discharging their nitrogenous based in the form of potassium urate malpigeon tubules converting this potassium urate in the form of uric acid and uric acid is coming out through the in gut it is coming out through the in gut so this is one very important related with uh, one point when we are saying about the uh, here nervous system one very important point it is having the central nervous system it is having the peripheral nervous system it is having the autonomous nervous system and there is one very important structure present in uh, frog one one very important that uh, you have to remember there is one one ganglia that is known as the supraesophageal ganglia 
इन कॉक्रोच सुपरा इसोफेजल गैंगलिया इट रिप्रेजेंट्स द ब्रेन इट रिप्रेजेंट्स द ब्रेन आर यू गेटिंग इट रिप्रेजेंट्स द ब्रेन एंड वन मोर वेरी कॉमन क्वेश्चन दे आर आस्किंग इफ द हेड ऑफ द कॉक्रोच इज कट ऑफ इवन इट इज एबल टू सर्वाइव फॉर द सेवन डेज आर वन बी वाई बिकॉज ऑनली अ पार्ट ऑफ नर्वस सिस्टम इज प्रेजेंट इन द थोरेक्स इन द हेड रीजन रिमेनिंग पार्ट इज प्रेजेंट इन द थोरेक्स एंड अपडोमेन सो इन द थोरेक्स थ्री गैंगलियास आर प्रेजेंट इन द एबडोमेन नाइन गैंगलिया सिक्स गैंगलियास आर प्रेजेंट टोटल नाइन गैंगलियास सो ऑनली अ बिट सुपरा इसोफेजल गैंगलिया दैट इज प्रेजेंट इन द पार्ट ऑफ ब्रेन हेड रीजन अदरवाइज दैट इज बाय दिस इज वेरी कॉमन क्वेश्चन इफ द हेड ऑफ द कॉक्रोच अगेन फॉर नीट इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट विल सर्वाइव एज लॉन्ग एज सेवन डेज बिकॉज ऑनली अ पार्ट ऑफ नर्वस सिस्टम इज प्रेजेंट ऑन द हेड रीजन रिमेनिंग इज प्रेजेंट इन द थोरेक्स एपडोमेन हु इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द ब्रेन सुपरा इसोफेजल गैंगलिया सो दिस इज द वन पॉइंट आई सेट दैट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर you have to remember that supra esophageal ganglia is there and these supra esophageal ganglia they are representing the they are representing the supra esophageal ganglia they are representing the brain now just coming on one more point please try to see when when we are saying when we are saying about the male and female reproductive system so known by us frog is having sexual dimorphism what is sexual dimorphism anal style the the anal style is a structure anal style is a structure which is present only in the male frog it is present only in the male frog it is absent in the female frog what is the type of fertilization in frog in cockroach that is the internal internal fertilization takes place in case of cockroach one very interesting what is the type of development they are asking question from here the type of development in cockroach that is known as the poro metabolus poro metabolus what is the meaning of poro metabolus that is the gradual gradual development again this point is very important that is the gradual development gradual development means from the x there is development of nymph and from the nymph there is development of the adults so this is known as the poro metabolus are you getting this is known as the poro metabolus and how many molting takes place in cockroach that is the 13 molting 13 molting takes place in the cockroach next to last nymphal stage it means in 12 nymphal stage stage there is development of the wing pads but wings are present in adults but wings are present only in adults but there is development of wing pads one more very interesting thing that is the last point i think you have to remember related with cockroach there is a structure that is known as the uthika 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 in simple language you can remember that is known as the egg case so how many uthikas are formed 9 to 10 uthikas are formed In each uthika, how many eggs are present? Fourteen to sixteen fertilized eggs are present. Fourteen to sixteen fertilized eggs are present in one uthika. Fourteen to sixteen. Why? Because if you are remembering, see the female frog, female cockroach, they are having a pair of ovaries, and each ovary is made up of eight ovarioles. Ovarioles are ovarian tubules. So eight from here, eight from here. that is the 16 16 so coming into the common oviduct of vagina getting that is by one uh, one uthika having 14 to 16 fertilized egg and uh, number of uthika in cockroach that is the 9 to 10 what is the economic importance of cockroach nothing no economic importance so i try to say all the important point related with the cockroach in the next video we will meet again thank you for peaceful listening thank you all the best